Hello there everyone, this is I am Mark 3 coming at you with Galactic Crew, a short series. This is one of my Christmas gifts, so thank you to a certain special someone. You know who you are. So, Galactic Crew, early access game on Steam, where you basically manage the crew of a spaceship, go places, do wonderful things, and most likely get blown up. Mm -hmm. Yes. I played through the tutorial and I've poked around a bit so I have an idea of what I'm trying to do, but I've not really played much of this game, so I've played like 20 minutes, half an hour-ish, just to get knowing things. I've not actually unlocked anything though, because this game is actually tied to achievements for progression and unlocks and things like that. So, yeah. Let's get in there and see how we do. New game. Now, you set up your games by picking cards, which have varying effects based on how you want to go about it. Right now, I've got the roll cards. Space Pirate, Merchant, and Space Explorer. Um, Space Pirate generates threat by defeating civilian ships. Threat, by the way, is a mark of progression. The higher the threat you've got, the more dangerous it is and the more lethal stuff is coming after you. So, Space Pirate generates threat by killing civilians. Starts with a medium laser turret. Merchant generates threat by earning money. So, the more money you've got, well, the more popular you get with the local pirates. Starts with these thousand credits and starts at a space station. Then we've got a Space Explorer. Does not generate any threats, but has to explore the galactic map. So, that tells me they don't know where things are to begin. The galactic map, by the way, is procedurally generated, so it's random for each game. Okay. I'll play Space Pirate, because, you know, nice combat -y role. So, next up, spaceships. Look at all the red locked buttons. Um, you need to get achievements to unlock the new ships, which I believe you have to do... Well, I know some of these you do by buying them at a shipyard. There's also... Yeah, there's also other ships in there which um, I think you can't actually start with. So there is still progress, even if you start out with a more powerful ship. But for now, we've only got the Artemis. Basically a really small thing. For the background, this is your personal character in your ship. Uh, pilot starts with more energy crystals and some junk. Very useful. Uh huh. Can jump up to two sectors with his skill. So, longer jump range. Which is nice. Engineer starts with a mining laser turret and some items of merchandise. Can repair items faster than normal crew members and can mine asteroids if your ship's fitted with a mining turret. Note that mining turret it uses the same slot as laser turrets. So it's a still weapon slot, so can't use it and a, a weapon turret on the Artemis. Plus we're pirates, so fixing stuff is good, but... The mining stuff is not exactly relevant here, for the most part. Soldier starts with combat items in your cargo hold. Weapon turrets deal 25% more damage, and you deal more damage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, so better for the piratey raidy thing. So I think Soldier is a good candidate for a space pirate. And then finally we've got Medic. Starts with medical supplies, heals crew members faster than normal crew members, and can resurrect dead crew members. Note that Normal crew members, as far as I know, can't do this, so Medic is your only way to actually bring people back from the dead. Also very good at healing people. Better at healing than most of the crew members. Uh, well, let's go ahead and go Medic, I think, because being able to resurrect people, I think I'll use that to outlast people and keep my choice people alive. So, yes. Then lastly, we have Character, which is entirely cosmetic. We can take... Um, Corflars, Vish, Vistags, they're all locked, but some smells fishy and scaly power, but this is entirely cosmetic. So I've got three different skins for humans, for male and female. We've got two for the Kovlar and two for the Vistag. Um, let's just take a human female. And then lastly for bonus slots, these are four modifiers you can apply to the game to change things. You start out with Peace, which is Pirates do not board the player's ship. Boo! Um, we should let the play we should let the pirates board me because, you know. Delicious hand-to-hand -hand combat and shooty things. 
Also increases the difficulty because um, otherwise it's ship to ship combat unless you board them, I believe. Unless other people can board me, but uh, pirates do not board the player's ship. In my testing, I ran up against a single pirate. They boarded me with two attacking characters. So, yeah. Make it more interesting if we get boarded back, you know? But I've not really looked at these. Um, extra credits for selling resources. Additional bonus can be unlocked with the achievement. Can be unlocked with the achievement. Oh, there's an additional bonus which can be unlocked on these, on that one. Extra credits from events. Extra credits selling goods. An extra bonus to upgrade it as well. Extra turret damage against scientists. Scientists, by the way, is another ship class. I believe they count as civilians, so we get we get points for shooting them, basically. Yep, extra attack against merchants. Extra attack against miners. Chance, extra chance to increase to, to loot an enemy's weapon turret. Hmm, interesting. That one. Adds a jump gate to the galaxy. I do not know what that does, but anyway, none of these are available, so we're just going to go in there. My ship's name is... Oh, did it just crash? I think it did. I was trying to call it the predictably damaged. Uh, yep. Oh, it stopped. Boo! Stop recording now? No. Okay. Well, remember, this is early access, so yeah, it's going to have issues. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Sorry about that. I'll be back in just a second, because it's now booting back up again. <laughs> well, what can I say? Early access. And it seems it doesn't like it if you name your ship too much. Hmm. Either that or it didn't like the recording. I don't know which. But at least we've got, I've gone through the entire new game setup thing, so let us begin again. New game. Space Pirate. Artemis. Medic. Uh, female human. Um. Cardboard box. That is my ship, the cardboard box. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> okay. Right, start. Here we go. And now it pre-generates the stuff. On the bright side, though, this game actually really boots up fast. Like, that was less than a minute and it just booted straight back in. So here we go. Welcome, welcome to Galactic Crew. This is my ship. There are many ships like it, but this one is mine. And as you can see, we've got um, internal rooms, we've got some systems, and we've got our I'm players on my way. Hmm, around the place. Affirmative. There's me. What do you want? Uh, uh, Stig Stigian Neurink. Uh, well, I'm going to rename you straight away. Actually, what are you? Yes. What do you want? Uh, oh, I can promote crew members to an officer. I, th I think that's what that means because I remember one poking around that slot mark means that symbol means officer. Anyway, I want to check my things. So, crew, what have we got? As you can see, different people have different crews. 0% chance to resurrect without using medical supplies. Okay, resurrect needs medical supplies. Find medicine herbs on when gathering food. Um, Shin Nurek has healing and repairing, and then so does um, Chikwag, um, Chikwag Al Azok. Chikwag Azok. The hell? <laughs> All these names. Oh, I, I, don't, do I don't know. Want? I think I can rename them. Um, well, Chikwag Chuck a thingy is um, an alien, so first off, I'll rename the guy as Razul. Razul? Because why the hell not? What do you want me to do? Hmm. And the the uh, the alien that no one understands at all is going to be da -da 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 -da, little mean. Yes, little mean. You are an alien that no one understands. Hmm. <laughs> And then, of course, that's just me. Who needs a medic? I am the medic. I'm it's my, my job way. to keep you guys alive. In theory. In practice, maybe, maybe not. Okay. Right. Here's my overview. Ship layout. Pretty small. But it gives you some stats down the side. There's my crew list, as you saw. As they level up, they get points to put into these. <clears throat> so there is some progression in that. 
Inventory. I've only got so much cargo space, but I've got food, crystals, supplies, and various odds things. And exotic animals, quantity zero. But they, um, that looks like a kind of dangerous worm. I don't know. And then here's the achievement list, as you see. Um, get bonus cards from unlocking these. So it tells you the objectives and what you can get to. So there's it's so shiny, and then there's precious crystals, which is the upgrade, which is mine crystals. So that's one of the upgrade lists, and it just shows you all the things. So let's see how well we survive. Now this is the um, map. It's a bit basic, but it's basically randomly generated all over the place. Uh, orange rocks are asteroid fields where you can mine. These um, piles of cash basically are space stations. Then there's a shipyard down here, which is where you can buy um, a, a bigger, better ship, if you've got the money. Now, each of these, though, is a random node, which gives you random events. Um, so, yep, you can do that. Some events require things. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Depends on how it goes. But the problem is, every time you jump, you use one energy crystal and you use one food per person. So, as you can see, I've got 10 jumps remaining on both stats. And if I run out of food, my people start to death. If I run out of energy crystals, my ship can no longer move. And I think that's a game over, but I'm not entirely sure. Probably is. The, the tutorial said it was, but anyway. Let's go ahead and go to places. My jump range is 10. And by the way, it doesn't skip things. It does send you to each one, but then you've got an autopilot option which will allow you to continue. So I think I'm going to head to the space station here so I can get more supplies at least. Okay. Ancient ruins on a planet in the solar system. I don't have a teleporter. Ignore it and fly on. Whee! And here we are at a station. Right. Stations, you can trade for goods, you can ask for missions, and you can retrofit your ship, which means you can change what your individual rooms are. You can't change how many rooms or what size of rooms you've got. That requires a new ship hull, so that's what you need a shipyard for. But here we can... well, here is where we can reliably get... let's just put it that way. Reliably get supplies. So... How much money have I actually got? That would be nice to know, wouldn't it? How much, how much money have I actually got? Oh, I've got no credits. Sorry, it's right behind my, um, it's right behind my recording stats. Hang on, I'll just fix that. Uh, open you up and move you. Sorry that we just lost sound there, but that's how this stuff works. Settings, I want you to be there. Jolly good. Fixed. Yay, I can actually see my credits. I have no credits. <laughs> that was useful, <laughs> uh, but at least I know now. So I need to find some places to get some stuff. I don't have an, a mining laser fitted, so... I, d I don't even have a mining laser full stop, actually. This place has archaeological finds, missiles, scientific samples, a heavy laser turret and a mining laser turret for 265 credits. I do, however, have some fertilizer and some furs on board, so let's get rid of those. Which is worth 159 credits total. Hmm. Not much, but I'll take it. So at least I can get some goods. Not even enough, not even enough for one turn of resources. Okay, I need to find something else to do. Services. Request a bounty mission. Destroy five, five pirates in any sector. Which gives me 5,000 credits. Sure. I'm a pirate, but I can request delivery on mining missions. Ugh. Ugh. Icky, icky, icky. I'm not a pirate to do menial labor. Oh, well, a scientist. He places beacons around the sun. I can establish communications. I can ignore it, or I can shoot at it. I'm a pirate, and I want free stuff. I'm going to shoot at it. Hello. Right, I need to select someone with mm -hmm. a weapon skill, weapon one, and start firing. So this is basically the uh, combat, uh, in ship to ship at least. I need to have a crew member operating that weapon system, so because I've got that crew member there doing that, that um, weapon system is active. 
my shields are slowly losing health, but the enemy ship is losing their hull steadily as we go. So yeah, this is um, kind of it for the ship to ship combat. Oh, I'm actually taking damage now. I need to get, I need to start fixing things. What do you want me to do? What do you want? Uh, I want you to repair what's getting damaged. Yes, ma'am. I'll, re I'll start repairing the power level. What do you want me to do? Little mean, go repair I'm on my way. the thing, whatever that is. That's the shield damage, actually. So yeah, you can restore your health by repairing stuff that's getting damaged. What Enemy do you want? Ship disabled. I'm on my way. Yeah, repair that turret, please. Um, if you can. Yes, you can, actually. You can reach through the walls of the ship and fix the turret. Excellent. But enemy ship is now disabled. I've just disabled their weapon system. And, oh, they've just lie, lay down with their head under a box. Basically. But I've disabled their ship. Should I just kill their ship? I can't. Um... Oh well, that that didn't do anything. So I got some extra resources. So I've got some more, mostly crystals. I got some food back. I've repaired my ship's hull. Yes. Because Affirmative. as you patch up system damage, that restores your ship's total hit points. And Razul has leveled mm -hmm. up. So Razul, you will get um, damage reduction, health, pistol damage. Or I can increase your repair and healing abilities. Um, I'm, I'll tell you what, Raz. I'm going to make you my border, actually. So I'll increase your damage reduction. So you can better tank stuff as you fight. Um. Little mean, I'll, I'll get, make you a border as well. But I need to get people for that. So yeah, that, that, that was that. I got some credits for it, which is nice. Oh, look, a mining vessel. Attack it! Shoot! Yep, now it's that one shooting back. Um, what do you want me to do? I want you to shoot the thing, please. Thank you. This one's actually a bit better equipped. It's actually got a decent shield on it. Actually, I didn't stop to look to see if... Um... Oh, I see. The yellow bar is hyperdrive. So if that fills up, then it tries to get away. We need a better ship. We need more guns. We need to prey on the, the civilians more. Anyway, I was um, just talking about, well, I was talking earlier about how we've got um, threat, which builds up, and that's a mark of progression. What threat does is, it's these stars across the top. Every time threat goes up a rank, you get a very powerful hostile chasing you around the galaxy, trying to murder you. So yeah, that's what that means. And it can be slightly dangerous. Ever so slightly dangerous. Anyway, something off seems to be a bit off. Um, hmm. Okay, never mind. Sorry, I just had to check my recording software again. But yeah, um, that means you've got p pursuers trying to find you and hunt you down. Merchants get chased by pirates. We get hunted by law enforcement, I believe it is. I'm, I'm not sure. Enemy ship disabled. Okay, we've got uh, eight food, three crystals, and one thing. I think there's a way we can make this more profitable, though. However, unfortunately, I am trying out a new format for this. Well, I say new format. Can't I can't do that. Um, so this is actually going to be about a 20-minute video. Because I'm trying out the whole um, mini-series approach to things for a while which means I'll record games and it'll be like 20 minute videos just to try and help get more stable slash steady content going out on the channel this is not a replacement for my regular videos it's just to go alongside them and to get more games out as well so yeah the last thing we'll do because we're just passing the 20 minute mark is we will retrofit and actually we'll trade away some stuff we've got we've got diamonds Ooh. sell it yes it's not that um the game automatically knows if you've stolen something um, nonsense going on here. But retrofits. I'll quickly show you this. Each room's size, like that's the equipment slot, that's the thruster slot, that's the large room, that's the small room, that's the bridge. You can't re do anything to the thrusters or the bridge, but you can refit the others. Like um, crew space, you can refit to other types, like botanical gardens, grow food, I think it does. Well, that's the name tells me that. 
Crew quarters, officers quarters. I think if we promote someone to officer, we need officer quarters for them. We've already got one to start out with anyway, actually. And the storage rooms are large ones. But we can refit the storage rooms to a prison. Which will reduce our goods capacity and equipment capacity because we're replacing a storage room with that. But the, now we can hold three prisoners. Whatever that means. Hey, maybe we can start capturing people to recruit and force them to join our crew. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, look at that. They, they've got bunks and toilets and everything. Oh, But yeah, I'm afraid we're going to have to call this one here because, as I said, 20 minutes. So, yeah. This has been Iron Mark 3. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll catch you all some other time. Mm -hmm. See you all later.